my mom said to the girls, oh, I wonder if someone will ever break mom's record. And the girls said, we will. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Curling now enters the Sports Weekend Spotlight. An absolutely incredible run once again by Team Anderson, Team Canada. They are the queens of curling, no doubt, Colleen. Four straight titles. Amazing. And you must be exhausted, Carrie. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but at your Am home. I ever? Yeah, at your I home. I only uh, got about an hour of sleep last night. So um, I got home um, just like an hour ago. Oh, Aww. and there's my dog. My dogs are excited <laughs> to see me. Yeah. Nice. And uh, I have to go back to the city and pick up um, my girls and my husband. Tonight? Yes. <laughs> oh. Carrie, what was it like? Um, I mean, you were so, you, the whole team was so dominant. Uh, how did it feel to do four in a row? Oh my God, you know what it feels like, Colleen. <laughs> um, it's unbelievable feeling and it's something that you don't dream about um, because it's so rare and so hard to do. And for us to accomplish that, I'm extremely proud of my teammates. They played unreal all week and uh, if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be a four-time champion. <laughs> yeah, it's it's incredible what you were able to do, um, Carrie. And I saw a video of you giving um, Brienne the the mm. MVP award, and I think I think all Canadians were watching the way she was sweeping with that belly and going, and every sweep she put everything into it. Uh, and of course, Shannon five for five. It, t t talk to us more about this team and, and the nice moment with Brienne as well. Yeah, um, this team has put in a lot of hard work over the last uh, five years, and um, it's definitely showing and paying off. Um, I know um, a lot of people had their doubts about us, but um, we never uh, gave up and we kept working extremely hard. And um, yeah, Shannon having five Scotties titles, that's pretty amazing. So. Uh, I'm glad she's on my team. <laughs> and um, yeah, and for Brienne, like she's been, she was in beast mode all week. She just like bared down. She never complained once. She, everything, um, she gave it her all out there. And uh, yeah, so extremely proud of her. And she deserved that M MVP award um, more than I did. So, um, I know over the last few years I got it and um, I just thought that uh, she definitely deserved that award. Beautiful. We all had to cry over it. And she did play 97%, so let's face it, she set up everything so beautifully. And I also love how she chimes in so nicely. And you're very receptive to it all. Like, you're, very, you're a very open skip, even though you're very sure of yourself. So you had the situation where you nosed hit against three and it was Brianna at the other end that said, and you, or you could hit, and, I, and you're like, right on, that's what I'm gonna do. I love that. Yeah, um, yeah, the, like the girls have been skips before and I love having their opinion and um, uh, them giving me that um, reassurance that the a broom's correct and they see what I'm seeing and uh, yeah, I think that's what makes this team so special. Carrie, there was a beautiful moment during one of the games. I can't remember because it's all a blur right now, as it probably is for you. But the, but the cameras were on your two daughters, and they were right into it. And I want you to look at this this picture. This is in Moose Jaw when you won the first. To me, it feels like a lifetime ago and like yesterday. I can't imagine. They only know their mom as a winner. Four straight, they watched you win all of these, and there you are together. What was it like to have them there, the whole family there, uh, because you all have been on this journey together? Well, it was absolutely amazing. Uh, seeing this picture brings tears to my eyes. Um, I love having uh, my girls and my husband and my parents there um, supporting me throughout my journey. And I hope one day um, the girls will be there. I brought them out onto the ice and they were sliding and they were so excited to be out there. and. 
my mom said to the girls, oh, I wonder if someone will ever break mom's record. And the girls said, we will. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> maybe yeah, they'll let I thought you it play was so lead. Cute. Yeah, awesome. maybe. <laughs> Probably not, though. <laughs> now the world's Sweden. Are you looking forward to that? Or are you just going to rest for a while? Oh, my God. I'm so looking forward to it. Um, we haven't got to go um, overseas for Worlds. Um, we were in Japan this year, and that was pretty uh, pretty amazing, too. So it was good that we got uh, some experience with that. Um, so we're definitely looking forward to it. But I think this week I'm going to take some time to rest and recover and get some work done on my body and heal my voice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like the Russ Howard of curling. <laughs> yeah, you are. Well, he loses it totally, but you're, you are, you do sound like you need, a, uh, need a, a little bit of a rest. Well, queen of curling, four, four awesome. in a row club. Welcome to the club. <laughs> and congratulations. Awesome. Thanks awesome, so Carrie. Get some rest. Thank you for doing this. We get to talk to you Canadians from coast to coast to coast. So thrilled for you. So we're passing on that message of congratulations. You've, you've done us, done Canada so proud, and you get to keep wearing that maple leaf. So congratulations. I, I absolutely love it, and it never gets old. <laughs> awesome. Get some rest, Carrie. Appreciate you. I will. Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye.